In today's video, we've got a big surprise for Tom, and hopefully he can't hear me. But if you remember, in the previous video that we filmed, he said this. Next for this car, it's getting sent off to be PPF, so it's fully protected. That's going to happen while I'm away. So I'm looking forward to coming back and being able to enjoy this car to its fullest. Yeah. And being able to show you videos of us doing that. <laughs> Tom just thinks that we're off to go pick up a car that's just been PPF'd, but whilst he was away on holiday, I've gone behind his back ever so slightly to uh, surprise him. I think he's going to love it. Fingers crossed he loves it. But yeah, let's not waste any time. And I'll show you what I got up to before we go pick up the car. So you join me in the M2, one of my favourite cars, on the way to Lusso Detailing, where we'll see the car that we're going to be doing the modifications to. Let's get to Lusso. So I've arrived at Lusso Detailing. Let's head inside and see what car we're going to be working with. We're going to be wrapping the GT12. I know what you might think. Don't do it because it is a great spec and I agree. But Tom, when he was originally looking for one of these cars, he wanted it in a bright colour. He'd seen the bright green and unfortunately missed out on that spec. So I thought, perfect opportunity whilst he's away on holiday and has absolutely no idea that I'm doing this. It'll be a, a good time to get this a little bit brighter. So there's a variety of colours I've had a look at and the guys at Lusso Detailing we've been discussing. So I'll show you them in just a second to see what options we've got. Hopefully we're still friends after this, Tom. Let's see the different choices. So here I've laid out a selection of different colours that we were discussing a little bit earlier with the guys here at Lusso. Obviously there's a lot more that's on the swatches. Another yellow would have been solar beam yellow. That's definitely a good choice. There's some like gold. Go <laughs> I'm not even going to repeat that. And then there's sort of a midnight purple and then a lighter colour purple. And then obviously this little one that's for the camera. It's quite a cool colour. Do you think it'll go? It doesn't look too bad actually. So leave us a comment down below of what you think or what you would like to see this car wrapped in. You guys won't see it until Tom sees it when we do the full reveal. The next time that you see this car, it will be fully wrapped and we'll be getting Tom's reactions. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous now. I'm thinking, am I doing the right thing? We'll see. So we've narrowed it down to a few colours and I think I've made the right decision. And I just want to, before I go, Give a huge shout out to Lusso Detailing for working with me on this. They've been absolutely incredible, letting me come in, do the walk around of the car. Somewhat going behind Tom's back a little bit with, uh, with me on this one and trusting me to do the right thing. You'll have seen all of the other cars that we've got. The 918 was actually wrapped here and PPF'd here. But X7, the cool colour on the X7, which is actually a gloss underneath, but the guys here PPF'd it in satin. I think, to be honest, every single supercar that gets put in the collection gets sent straight here before it gets driven and they're worked on. I will leave their details down in the description below. So again, a huge shout out to those guys. The next time we see this, it will be uh, fully wrapped and we'll be revealing it for Tom. I'm a little bit apprehensive and also very, very nervous. Let's see what he thinks. So yeah, <laughs> I've wrapped to the car. I can hear the car started, so we're going to go. Hopefully he's surprised, hopefully he likes it. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go see the final result because I've not seen it all together. So I've just run inside now and Michael's just behind sorting out the cover. I've set up the uh, sneaky cam right there to get his reaction. I'm looking forward to this because this, is, uh, this has been exciting. Let's go get him. Looking forward to getting the car, Tom? I am really looking forward to driving that V12 again, yes. Yeah, yeah. Have you missed it while you've been on holiday? I have very much missed it, yeah. yeah. I haven't really got to ring it out yet and we've got a nice day, so yeah, it's such today's good. the day. Yeah, and you've got your Aston Martin there. <laughs> On clothing on, look at that, fully branded, there we go. <laughs> Courtesy of the fine folk at Aston Martin Bristol, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Hi, Carl, how's it going? Yeah, good mate, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it under a cover for PPF, Lou? So we've got a bit of a surprise for you, Tom. Uh, Michael, shall we, uh, yeah, shall we reveal yeah. it? <laughs> Let's get the cover off, right. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I mean, it's just come for PPF. Be. Like, that, that's all, you're gonna reveal it and it's just gonna be PPF'd. I have my suspicions. Oh, God. <laughs> right, go on then, let's see it. My heart is pounding. <laughs> what do you think? You are still a stupid <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's actually not too bad. That's come out. So much better than what I expected. Oh my God, that looks so good. Like, I've not seen this all put back together. So this is also me kind of seeing it for the very first time. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Do you like it? You know I like Midnight. This is Midnight Purple, I guess. Yeah, yeah, this one's Midnight, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were looking at the colours for ages, because I'd, I'd, 
I'd actually come up when you were away in Dubai. So I've already been here before. This is when Very we were choosing clever. the colours. Very clever. I thought <laughs> it's a perfect opportunity to kind of go behind your back and... Uh, it actually yeah. works though, doesn't it? Yeah, you know what, with the green, knowing Tom, I kind of knew he kind of liked the Joker with the uh, life-size figures that you've got. We've kind of replicated that. So we're still friends. We're still friends. <laughs> good, good. So he likes it, yes. Thank God for that. Let's have a proper little walk around of the car and uh, show you some more details of it. And show Tom because, like I say, you had absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh God, yeah, I can, uh, I can relax now. As soon as you saw the cover, you were like, what have you done? Imagine if it were bright pink. Oh, you won't put it past yeah, me, to be no, honest. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad that you had that reaction. But yeah, surprise. Nice. We uh, kind of came into a couple of challenges with the wrap because we were undecided on whether or not to do this all in gloss black and when we'd done the wrap it kind of looked a bit too green, <laughs> weirdly enough to say. Too so busy I, on the front maybe? Yeah, a little bit too busy to be honest. Yeah. But I think now like we obviously decided to go with it fully gloss black. And it makes sense because these parts were gloss black. I don't know if you can remember, Tom, like the green at the front. It kind of, it did really stand out. But even with that subtle little black stripe that goes across there, it really, really works well. It, it breaks does. it up a lot. Yeah, it splits it up, doesn't it? Yeah. Trying to picture it without it and it really does. Yeah. Because then you've got a green trim all the way around yeah. the bottom and then you've got highlighted bits yeah. around the upper parts of the car here the wing mm. mirrors and the ends of the spoiler. And then the only other thing that we kind of changed aside from, yeah, the main color was this GT12 there. So yeah. it was in the same color as this silver, I believe. Was it silver, yeah? So obviously we've done it in green now. And I think that's that really cool. of color. It yeah. looks good, doesn't it? It does, So that's excellent. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. It's come out super nice. Do you like it, yeah? Yeah, I do. Well, you know, obviously wasn't expecting it, but because oh. white is a little bit dull. Yeah. Well, when I came the first time, I was saying to like the audience when I was first doing the video that you were looking for a brighter version. And I mean, I know that it's not a bright colour, but I think the whole colour scheme works really well. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, because it's kind of on a theme of like the Joker and you do like it, I was like, okay, that's perfect. Because mm. we were thinking about the different colours. Solar beam yellow was another option that we went through, mm. which would have looked okay. But I, I you probably would have had to get rid of the green bits. Oh yeah, if yeah. If you were doing solar beam yellow, yeah. Interior's green, so I really wanted to keep the green, and I thought, you know what, we'll go for Joker vibes and we'll. Uh, Who we'll do knew it you had style, Luke? <laughs> exactly. And I take things in when uh, Tom says that he buys these little. Uh, sculptures that he does he <laughs> no i mean yeah <laughs> i suppose you do like my joker statues yeah and i have cool. been a lifelong batman fan yeah as well so yeah. again thinking, uh, thinking now we've got rent. the batmobile gt2 rs yeah and, and then we've then got, we got the, the joker. joker oh god that's yeah we'll have to get photos of them together mm. that needs to happen that's a good idea yeah that's a really good idea See, always thinking See, always thinking <laughs> let's bring michael in for a more of a chat about mm. the car michael if you didn't know at Lusso in Newcastle, has wrapped and PPF'd the vast majority of my cars. He's always done an amazing job. What do you think, Adam? Do you, I, I yeah. love it. I think you've done a class job. Yeah. Yeah, it really, really works. It, uh, it's come out so nice. You and Luke have outdone yourselves. <laughs> yeah, very pleased. <laughs> out of interest, which parts, if any, were particularly challenging for you? Probably the, the, the front fenders, because you've got the, it, it's kind of, almost in one one piece sort of mm. going around and meeting, yeah, meeting yeah. to the left side so obviously the rear sort of fender as well obviously going down it was just obviously getting minimal joints as well and obviously to create mm. a better finish but also on top of the ppf getting yeah. the, getting the wrap to lie down as well so was it um, difficult doing the doors because obviously you're on the doors you're going you're transitioning into the colors that are halfway on the dot, like the black and yeah, grey so, stripes. So, so and stuff. it was a little bit more because we, we had obviously fo follow the line, so obviously it was it flowed all, all in one piece. Um, yeah. So obviously we just used like sort of knifeless cutting tape, and obviously you just follow the line down the sides, so you can kind of see where it kind mm -hmm. of meets. Because obviously you want to kind of show off with that sort of being painted into the doors as well, you kind of want to show off, off, off that as well. And yeah. Following that and retaining it underneath as well. So yeah, it um, looks immaculate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wizardry, which is what everybody always says about the 918, which you wrapped orange. Yeah. Uh, nobody can believe that it's a wrap everybody's like wow that's a hell of a paint yeah yeah so that was really obviously really good as well because obviously we did like all the door shuts and like returns and that as mm. well so and um, when you look at it you would never know it was it was kind of wrapped as well yeah. so we've kind of went the same level of detail with this and obviously yeah i'm, I'm obviously pleased that you yeah like, it's like come out finish, class. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yes very pleased thank you very much Mike. thanks again for the opportunity to protect it or actually wrap it <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna see it for the first time out in the sun. I'll give them a knock. Let's see it actually. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like. The purple and we've got the sun out. So it knew we were coming today, but I mean, just look at that. Yeah, let's get it out and, uh, and see this thing. <laughs> that sounds so good. It's hard to show it in the sun without seeing it with your eyes because when you're actually looking at it, it looks completely different. So pictures of this car are going to be so difficult to get, but that looks sick. Right, let's see what Tom thinks of it. The sun's come out just in time. Experience it. Yeah. Just look at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> the colour's completely different in the sun, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, massively. Wow. That looks good, that like the car, all that. Yeah, you can just sort of see in the pain. Yeah, that's much better outside, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so happy you like it. Yeah, it's awesome. That looks so good. Oh, wow. Can we drive it now? Yes, let's go drive it. <laughs> so the only logical thing to do was bring the Aston Martin to Aston Martin and look what's behind us, a GT8 in a very bright yellow colour. So we've just heard a couple of revs from Tom over there. We'll get, a, get them again so we can get them on camera, but we're going to see if this starts, and if this starts, we're going to get some revs of the uh, GT8. So it's quite a good comparison, actually, as coming here. But yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing what this one sounds like compared to the 12. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the GT8 at Aston Martin Newcastle to start. So here's a video of Shmi doing a review and uh, giving it some revs. So yeah, this is what the GT8 sounds like. <laughs> Gonna do some more revs to uh, get a proper scientific comparison like what we usually do with these cars. Go on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We seem to enjoy it so far with the colour, but let's say the sound. <laughs> Mental. That's so loud. You can smell it. Yeah, you can smell it as well. Yeah, that little drive off that you just did around here to come to Aston Martin, that was so loud. I just didn't expect it to be that loud. Yeah. Have you been behind it before or not? No. No. Only when you've read it in the driveway. Was it really loud for you just following it? Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, just, I can't believe it. <laughs> I knew it was going to be loud, but I just didn't expect it to be that that loud. It's so. such a nice sound as well. It, it, it's a it's a very nice sound. It's still going to get banned off every race circuit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Day. Yeah, good luck trying to get this accepted on a race circuit unless it's a an unsilenced day. 47. 47 is actually my lucky number, so... Is it really? Yeah. It's made for you. We've got to get this yeah. one, Tom, now. <laughs> Tom, I first you on you. My first Aston Martin, come on. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Tom seemed to love the car, which, oh, thank God, it turned out all okay, and it looks absolutely incredible. Before we do go, we'll give you a little bit of a teaser of what this car sounds like, because it is unreal. But stay tuned for a future video where we do a full first drive video on this with all the sounds of the car sounding absolutely incredible. Let's get a fly Bye. Thanks for watching and stick around for the next one. You can still hear the car. <laughs> That's mental. I cannot wait to show you guys the full first drive video. So yeah, stay tuned for that one and uh, try and catch him up in the M2 CS. I don't think so because he's all the way down there. <laughs> I can literally still hear it. So yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment about what you think about the wrap. Did I make the right choice? I'm just glad Tom likes it, and it was a great surprise, and I'm so glad it turned out how it did. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Mental. <laughs>